Hi there, welcome to a practical workshop looking at material unit rates, specifically looking at mortar. First up, collecting information. Here's my information down here. Um, most of my stuff's in, looks like it's in kilograms, uh, pounds per kilogram or pounds per litre, but we know that then converts into kilograms. So when I'm now breaking down into common units, I can see here my common units are kilograms and metres cubed, okay? Now, if you go to new rules of measurement, you'll see that 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 rings true when you're looking at jointing materials etc we want to be measuring in meters cubed so here's basic maths here if i know my pounds per say kilograms if i'm looking down here and then i know kilograms per meter cubed then i will definitively know my pounds per meter cubed so that's what we're trying to do here so step two i'm breaking down into my units which will be my kilograms now so i'm breaking this down into kilograms and down here as you can see i've got milliliters so that's a separate one so if i start looking at um my mortar well i know that per meters cubed it's two thousand kilograms that's fine um, i know my sand and my cement are both ratios of that Okay, that's 2,000 kilograms. It's four-fifths and one-fifth. So that's quite easy to do as well. You just times it by that number. Okay. And then when I'm looking at my additive, I know that we've got 300 millimetres per 100 kilograms of cement. Now, if you take the zeros off, it's three to one. So basically, I know three millilitres per one kilogram of cement. Well, I've got the cement right there, 400 kilograms. So all I do is I times that by three, and that will give me how many millilitres I need additive, okay? So that makes that nice and easy. So now I've got them down per metres cubed, how much of each element do I need? So now I want to be looking at costing this up. So for sand, cement and additive, I do have the cost. I've got 425 per 25 kilograms, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm basically saying, um, here 425 per 25 kilograms so all i'm basically doing is i'm putting my pounds 425 over my kilograms yeah and then i'm timesing it by my kilograms per meter cubed now we've just done that up here we know the kilograms per meter cubed for cement which is 400 okay so that's that so i do 425 over 25 times 400 and that gives me my pounds per meter cubed it's just using math so if you have a look at these equations that's it's kind of what we're doing so you're just plugging in the values what is the pound oh 425 what's my kilograms oh 25 okay and if you do that the same for all the others so 80 pound so sand it's 80 pound per 20,000 kilograms so i put my pounds on top 80 I put my kilograms underneath, 20,000, and I've already worked out the weight of my, my kilograms per metre cubed there. The weight of my sand is up here, 1,600. Times them all together and that'll give you that, okay? And th this is all you're doing, okay? Just this formula. And then you follow it through and you end up with all of the pounds per metre cubed for each element and then you add them together. There you have it. We have a cost for mortar on the job per metres cubed. Okay, thanks for your time. Take care.